Hello everyone, and welcome to a very special episode. Today, we're taking a look at a very special release, The Early Years, aka Season 1 on DVD. So let's get right into it here. So, this was released to commemorate 20 years of the Thomas and Friends TV series on October 26th of 2004. I find that kind of interesting because next year, in 2005, we'll be celebrating 60 years of Thomas. That's meaning the Railway series. I'm just saying that it might be a bit confusing for parents or kids alike. And also, Thomas and Friends started off in the UK. And if this is honoring 20 years of Thomas, then why wasn't this released in the UK? I don't know. But... The UK still gets complete season DVDs, which we don't get. Anyways, let's take a look at this here. So, um, this is actually a... I wouldn't say it's rare, necessarily, but it's a bit uncommon. I believe it was only put out once, and that was that time in 2004. Um, I don't believe Lionsgate put this out again. I don't see why they would, but they might have. I don't know. It's, it, if they did, it's very rare. Well, we got a nice poster right here, <clears throat> and it's an interesting way how they actually package this. So, right up there on that little metallic banner, we have Collector's Edition. There's the Thomas and Friends logo, the early years. And here, we got like a little window here so you can see Thomas, and this um, is like a slipcase kind of thing. It's pretty cool. Right down there, we have the complete first season and three-disc set. And then on the side here, it's... Just like your stock standard regular DVD. Mine's a bit ripped here. This did come from eBay. I'll talk more about how I got it later. But, yeah. There's all that down there. And we flip it to the back here. Got some interesting stuff right up there. Ringo Starr is a storyteller. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the first time that we ever heard Ringo Starr on DVD. I'm pretty sure I'm almost positive I know he will come back in the other season 1 DVDs like James Learns a Lesson which is actually coming up it's actually going to be here in about a month or so uh, but he also did Thomas Gets Tricked as well anyways um, there's your description there and then here are our episodes they are split up into two discs so on disc one, we have Thomas and Gordon, Edward and Gordon, The Sad Story of Henry, Edward, Gordon, and Henry, Thomas' Train, Thomas and the Trucks, Thomas and the Breakdown Train, James and the Coaches, Troublesome Trucks, James and the Express, Thomas and the Garn, Thomas Goes Fishing, and Thomas Terrence in the Snow. Uh, kind of the boring episodes of season one. I'm not a huge fan of those. Some of them are pretty good, but a majority of them are relatively boring. But, um, I do think disc 2 is the superior disc. So, we have, on disc 2, we have Thomas and Birdie, Tenders and Turntables, Trouble in the Shed, Percy Runs Away, Cole, The Flying Kipper, Whistles and Sneezes, Toby and the Stout Gentleman, Thomas and Trouble, Dirty Objects, Off the Rails, Down the Mine, and Thomas's Christmas Party. And then we have a third disc for the bonus features, which are Sodar Memories, Sir Tom Hatt's Commentary, Read Along Story, Thomas and the Naughty Diesel, Build an engine game and who am I game? Very, very cool. Um that Sir Tom Matt's commentary bonus feature is a really, really cool idea. Kinda wish they had like David Mitten on here maybe. Or maybe even Bert Allcroft. I don't know. That would have been pretty cool. Um, right down there we have runtime 132 minutes. I assume that's between all three discs. Not just for one disc, I wouldn't imagine. Possibly, I'm not sure. Uh, there's the website link and another picture of Thomas. All your necessary stuff down there. And then on the bottom here, you have all that. The entertainment logo. That is a very nostalgic logo. I, th I, I do like the new one, but I kind of prefer this one. I'm going to be honest. And then here is the top. And then here's this side. It's basically the same as the other side, but it's a bit smaller. Well, that is because it is the case now. So, it's all just one image here. 
it's kind of plain, but that's what it's supposed to be, and I like that. This could honestly be like a desktop screensaver or something. I really like it. This side is something too special. This is where you open it, but um, on the back here, you have a nice little picture of all the characters of Season 1. Minus Birdie and uh, Terrence and Stop Hat, but you know what? That's okay. There's a nice little welcome banner up there. Welcome, Stanley. That's a really old joke. Alright, and then this is listing what are on the discs again. Then right over here, we have another description. I don't think it's the same as the one on the back. I think it is a little different. We also have Making Tracks to Great Destinations down there, which is the tagline for Thomas around this time. And this is really clever. So for the discs, they have used the characters' faces. So we have Thomas for episodes 1 through 13. Sorry if I'm, I'm close to my microphone. I apologize. Um, episodes 14 through 26 are Percy, and the bonus features are James. Very cool there. And it's funny. Um, sometimes people sell these in big lots on eBay, uh, just by themselves, and you just get like Thomas's face as a disc, <clears throat> as a disc. Excuse me. Apologies. Uh, that's just really funny. I'm voice cracking all the time. Oh my goodness. We do have a little booklet to look at, so let's take a look at that. It's basically the same as the front, although we don't have three discs set down there. And this is just a matte gold color, or a solid gold, I guess. Here's another listing for the episodes, and then right down there in the fine print, you can see original UK story names. And there's some screenshots from the menu. Oh, I got to flip the page. There we go. Here's all the bonus features. You can pause them if you would like to read them. And I would also like to mention that this has all the remastered footage, not restored. Um, in 2012, um, in the UK, they released uh, a bunch of the Complete Series DVDs. Excuse me. DVDs. And they had all restored footage, just to make it look a lot cleaner and nicer. This has remastered footage. I'm no master at this stuff. I don't know what rema what the difference really is. I do know these are in better quality than like a VHS, but... If somebody in the comments could tell me what remastered and restored... And restored is, excuse me, I gotta stop voice cracking. I'm going crazy here. Somebody could tell me what restored and remastered and what the difference is. That would be much appreciated. There's all that there. Dan with Thomas add some books. We're getting very close to the 60th anniversary, so we'll be seeing a lot more celebratory stuff here in the next coming weeks. And here's a listing of all the products. Um, this should have an available on DVD little circle because we covered that one two three four five weeks ago <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what's going on here but oh well I believe this is still up to date otherwise yes it looks like it is so you can slide it in like this and you can have the cover be like this this is actually how it came um I got this for Christmas in 2020 the most recent Christmas and this is how it came you're not meant to do it like this because, you know, there's parts of James and Percy and Annie Clarabelle there. You can do that, but it's really meant to go like this. And this is honestly a lot nicer and cleaner, in my opinion. Then you actually get to see this on the side here. So, that's all for that. So, I did get this for Christmas, and when I got it and opened it up, I realized that Thomas's face was actually missing. So, for about, I'd say six months, I didn't have a disc for that, so I was getting really scared when I was getting down to the weeks where I needed to get this for the, um, for the show. But, lucky me, I found another one. Um, if I hadn't found this in FYE, which is where I got this, and I get a lot of my stuff, I probably would have had to go on into eBay and bought a whole nother set which I didn't really want to do and this is good because a it's not complete 
and B, it's in very bad condition, so I wouldn't want some kid to have this, because that would honestly be a real buzzkill, but it's basically, this, it's exactly the same. <clears throat> it just does not have the slipcover, and it is in significantly worse condition. Open it up here. I don't remember if it came with the booklet, and then I stuck it in there. I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't come with one, but if it did, then that's cool. And then you can see I have taken Thomas's face out, and it is now in there. And yes, I do still have Percy and James, so if anybody needs a spare Percy or James disc for their early years box set, um, let me know and I will give it to you. So if you remember back uh, a couple months ago when I was reviewing the movie DVDs, you probably remember that there wasn't a whole lot I needed to change about those because you just put the movie on the DVD. With these episodes, episode releases, I want to have them all make sense. Like have the right poster art, have the right title, have the right episodes and such. This doesn't really need any changing because it's just season one on DVD. You know, it's just plain and simple. Although, I would like to have some more bonus features on here. If you guys aren't familiar, there is a bonus feature that I believe was on James and the Red Balloon. I'm pretty sure it'll appear again, but it is called the Sodor Superstars Hall of Fame. That is a very cool bonus feature, and I would have loved to see that on here. Something else that I think would have been really cool is if we got a commentary from the actual crew members, like I mentioned earlier, like... I don't know, David Mitten, or Robert Gall Galliers, or even Bert Allcroft. I think that would have been really cool to get. But, I still like this little personal touch with Sir Topham Hatt commentating over the episode. That was really nice. That is honestly the selling point of this. It's, it's exclusive to this release. You can't get it anywhere else to my knowledge. So, that's, that's really cool if you want to hear that. It is... I would... I don't know how much this would have sold for back in the day, probably around 20 bucks. I do think that it is worth it. Not really just to get that, but to get these episodes in really good condition, or quality, excuse me, um, and they are remastered anyways, so I don't know the difference. Um, but you get the original UK narration, you know, you get the original titles and all that, and it's really cool. I mean, I would have liked to see a George Carlin, you know compilation of this but you know what it's fine it's fine because Ringo Starr is still a very good narrator I don't think he's as good in season one as he is in season two but you know what I'm sure a lot of kids loved Ringo Starr back in the day but anyways that's really gonna be it for me here thank you guys again so much for watching this is honestly one of my favorite um home media or home media products because we don't get complete season DVDs anymore or we, we've never gotten them besides this We've gotten packs, but they're not, like, the complete season one or whatever. Um, I would have liked to see, like, a season two with Edward, or a season three with Henry, or even, like, season five with James or something like that. I don't know. That would have been really cool, but this is still really cool nonetheless. So, anyways, that's really all from me. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'm um, sorry if I wasn't that enthusiastic throughout this. Um... I don't know why, I think my allergies might be coming in again, but I've been really stuffy today, so I apologize about that, but I hope it didn't detract from the video, so thank you guys again for watching, I've said that like three times this video, but you know what, I love all of you guys, so I gotta say thank you as much as I can, but anyways, next week, and for the next few weeks, we're gonna be looking at some 60th anniversary releases, which is gonna be pretty fun. Next week, we're taking a look at Hooray for Thomas, which is another Season 7 release. Yay. So I will see you then. Bye-bye-bye.